G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Shawboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, welcome back to the Stun Button Challenge, the series that I promised a lot and never thought I'd actually have to make good on, but the series that I'm finally doing, using nothing but the worst weapon in the game, and trying to survive the zombie apocalypse. It's been, it's been a good time, but so far, we're okay. Overnight, I did do a fair bit of work on my base. I mostly just sat here and beat this vent to death, so I have a little bit more room to manoeuvre through here. Uh, I got some more mushies, gonna put you back up on the wall. And it turns out, a lot of my issues, as is often the case in seven days, came from these floor blocks. I didn't realise that they're taking up the block space above it. You can sort of see better with this, actually. That there is in the game's one sitting on that block, so it's just, just a little bit annoying, but just how it kind of is. You can come with me, to break down the block underneath you. It's the last one. It's the last one on this side. And then, <laughs> then I'm just going to do the other side. We're only halfway there. It takes so bloody long to break the things down that you need to. This is why I would very happily give one or both or probably just my left nut to actually have some better tools. I can go back into there so you all line up again. Campfire, you can come with me and go back down. Actually, before I do, I'll quickly upgrade the block you're sitting on. You and the wall and the other wall. Don't want to accidentally break some things by placing things wrong. In you go. In you go. Everything is better. Nice. Okay. So I've got a lot of things I need to do today. I want to try and progress further with my, my forge ahead books because I do need to be able to make some better things like a bellows for my uh, for my forge down here, which is already empty of all of its stuff. So it's actually ready to be picked up and taken upstairs. I want to clear out this bottom level. I need my base to be better. <laughs> just When I first got here, I just slapped some shit around. That's not going to fly anymore. May as well pick up my workbench as well. I'm just going to move that upstairs too. I'm going to put every, like, all the workbenches on the other side of my storage. That's why I started clearing some things out. So it's probably going to be a tonight, a tonight even, me problem. Oh, look, some tools digest right on the top of my workbench right there. Just read that and learn how to make the bellows. Nice. Okay, everything's significantly less vulnerable. Because overnight, I'm very glad that I did that testing last night with that feral businessman to make sure that if I'm up here, the zombies come to my horde base. Because last night, I did have a bit of a run-in with a screamer horde. And it's really made it apparent to me that I really shouldn't leave valuable things like that down on the ground. That's, that's going to end in tears. I promise you that. All right, ready to the rock and roll. It's before 5 a.m. Touch... Touch the logo like it's Anfield, then get out and going. Never forget where you came from when I came from a coffee storm. Just, it's just a shame that this will never work then. Now I've actually got my base set up properly. The screamer trap will never trap a screamer. It's never going to live up to its potential. That's just sad. Just, just feeling good today. Just feeling optimistic and happy. It's a weird combination of feelings to have while I'm playing Seven Days because normally the game is pushing its boots directly into my throat for even thinking about things going well for me. But the stun button isn't great, but it's not quite as bad as I thought it was going to be, which takes a lot of gumption for me to say. Oh, while I'm going to break down this cement mixer just here as well with my brand new tier 3 wrench. But yeah, things aren't quite as bad as I thought they might be. That decap chance is getting me by, so that's kind of keeping me alive at the moment. It's going to get worse when barrels start showing up and, God forbid, direwolves and things. So things are going to be bad later. But for the moment, it's all right. For the moment, it's okay. See? Look at that. Enjoy it while it lasts, Josh. Enjoy it while it's good. It's, it's gonna get shit soon. There's the quest at Dell's Cafe. Bet you don't even serve Woodle Brand coffee either. Bet you don't even serve the... Oh, look at that, bud. The appropriate best coffee in the land. Coffee strong enough to wake the dead. Only available at Woodle's Coffee. Which I unfortunately was exploded in a horrible twist of fate. So you might be able to pick through the rubble to get the beans you need to grind up a decent cup of cuppa. Oh man, it's nothing like what Woodle's Cafe was. This is ugh, gross. Oh my god, I just saw. I just saw though. No. It is. It's. I, I literally just got goosebumps looking at it. Oh, look what you are. It's. In all its naked glory. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sad now. I remember four seconds ago and I was like, man, I'm feeling happy. Things are good. I'm feeling optimistic about today. The game goddamn heard me and sent me down memory lane to make me miserable. 
It's Woodles Cafe before it became Woodles Cafe. Oh man, this was this was it. This was the place. This was the moment. This is where it all it all went downhill so bloody quickly. Sounds like someone's up in the roof still up in my old house. No. Why why are you gonna why are you gonna do me like this game? This was it. This was the joint. I spent so much of my life up here. All for nothing. And I had and of course I had to get sent back here. Of course. You couldn't just leave me being happy. Oh, pretend like it never happened. Try not to relive my dark and sad memories. In fact, you know what we need to do? You know what we need to do? Give me that awning. Give me that awning. There's something we need to do. Oh, not now. Not now. Not- I'm in the middle of grieving! You're shitting me. Not a bloody wonder at all right when I'm in the middle of trying to make- Trying to stitch up the wounds. My emotional baggage. The zippers have come undone. And I was trying to make it better again. And the ultimate insult for having to try and fix it all up by using a stun button. I mean, I had to. I had to. Yes, I know I'm spending some time I probably don't have. But there are rules. We have to pay respects to the series that came before. So I'm knocking down the coffee cup. You can see I've already built a big pile on out the front. I don't have the materials nor the the tools to upgrade it and make it stable. I'll have to come back and do that later. But I can't, I can't leave it like this. It's a hostile takeover. A takeover of someone else's cafe. We're upgrading it. We're franchising it. We're making it the Woodles Cafe. Or at least just a, a tribute to. It's not the best coffee in the world. It's just a tribute. There we go. The coffee cup's gone. I had to, uh, to scrimp and scrounge and save and get some cotton and stuff to make three Woodle coffee logos. Didn't bring that many with me. You can go like that. Boop, there you go. And then right up the very top, you can go on there as well. It looks so good like that too. It looks so bloody perfect like it was meant to be. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? I'm just making myself sad. I'm just making myself sad all over again. All the way to the tippy top. Chuck you like that. Oh. <laughs> I love that series so much. I really did. Oh, we did so well. We lasted longer than I thought I was going to. But I love that the logo suits it perfectly. I'm not going to change the sign. I'm not going to change the sign because that's not a true Woodles coffee. That would just be false advertising. Give people hope they can get some decent caffeine when truly they can't. I miss you. I miss you. Rest in peace, Moodles Cafe. I'll see you again like the end of Fast 7. Oh, now I'm doubly sad. Damn it. Why do I do this to myself? All right. Got to try and uh, suck in some deep ones and try to pretend like I'm uh, not just a blubbering mess of misery. Were you around the back over here? Yeah, there you are. You've been beating on the fence for a while trying to get through to the tribute to Woodles Cough, but nah, not for you. Grab some more iron out of that. I'll grab the cement in a moment because I left my shovel in my mini bike. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm frazzled. I'm, I'm all, I'm all distracted. I'm feeling things. I'm lost in my emotion. All right. Come on, Josh. Hoosa. Rub your bloody earlobes, whatever you need to do to focus on the game. The last thing I want to do now is get so wrapped up in what you've lost that you lose a whole nother setup again. Because yeah, the first time I die in this series, I lose my hotbar. Which would mean losing my stun button. Although, to be fair, at this point... I mean, I can make my own. I can make it tier two. So, not the worst of result in the world. I'm not going to go and throw myself to the zombies by any means. But if I do cark it before too long... I mean, it's not the end of the world. But then as things get worse, which they will later on in this series, I guarantee it. Uh, at some point... Oh, thank you for the vitamins. At some point... I'm going to die and have to explode another one of my bases and it'll be Woodle's Coffee all over again. So let's, um, let's avoid that if we can, shall we? Probably not a great idea. Ah, oh, yeah, see, that's why I shouldn't go being flippant about it and being distracted. Getting into this place right off the bat is a death drop. Fortunately, there's no one here. You, oh, yep, I was going to say, you take me out. Oh, it's a feral. You take me out the back, though. That's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about. We're starting to get ferals. We're starting to get the glowy eye douchebags. You're, st you're stuck in a glass case of emotion. Mate, I know. <laughs> I feel the same. We're both news anchors trapped in a phone booth. Where are you? Where are you? Use the stun. 
I've had it already charged up, which is bloody beautiful. Just try and be confident about it. You didn't recharge. My bloody stun back, which is rude of you. Arlene's gone, though. There's going to be plenty more, but at least now I have an escape route. That's the thing. As long as I keep thinking ahead and trying to open up doors to get outside where I can maneuver around, I might be okay. <laughs> might. With a capital M. Oh, yes, please. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Well, all the promises of so many comments are about to be put to the test. Stun Repulsor Mod. Tank Junkie Volume 5. So, uh, craft the Stun Repulsor Mod to, for stun buttons to Zen... I'm so... I'm so... In, I, just drooling with anticipation. I A, can't speak. That's nothing new. But also unable to read. Also, unfortunately, nothing new. Craft the Stun Repulsor Mod to, for stun buttons to send zombies flying on the charged hit. <sighs> nom. Nom, nom, nom. Just smear that into your brain. So now I have you... You need steel duct tape and both kinds of parts. You look like an arc reactor straight out of Iron Man's chest. I reckon it's probably actually where they got the design from because that's straight up what that looks like. I'm going to scrap you, eat you. All right, well, I know what I'm crafting when I get home. Look at that. You come to a cafe and you get all charged up. Oh, if only it was that one. <laughs> Damn it, Josh, stop looking. That was a, um, a little bit of a thing. Couple of ferals and a cop up and a cat my dog in. in fact, I was so focused, I barely even considered the option of me <laughs> getting pushed up against the wall in all the worst ways. Made it through, though. Did get a bit of a beating, though. It's I, I, The stun button's still not there. It's still not there compared to what the, ba uh, the, the clubs are. The baseball bat, if I was going just like a regular playthrough, just like taking whatever I could, I would have gone strength and gone clubs and used that baseball bat instead. But I'm forcing myself. I'm going out of my way to see if this stun button can actually do the job. And to be fair to it, two ferals and a copper, that's a big problem on, on any day. And it did handle it pretty well. That was one of those occasions where the stun function of it, the, the, the zappy feature, actually did come in handy. It held those ferals so I can deal with them. That part, for like for those fast moving zombies, I can see the appeal there. I'm starting to I'm starting to do some maths. I'm starting to figure out where the appeal is. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves though. Are you made out of You're made out of polymers? Oh! Oh no! Oh! That is a massive problem! That is a joy fucking enormous problem! Get on the fence! Get on the fence! They've only got paws, they cannot climb. Thank god my opposable thumbs managed to close the door before they closed my eyelids and sent me across the river sticks. They wouldn't have even given me the fucking coins for the ferryman either! I've got a charge button. But there's two dogs. Oh, okay, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'm gonna play this. I'm not sure. Okay, one one minute out. Gotcha. All right, at least I can stun you. And then there was one. And then there was one. The first. Oh, it's, oh, it's recharged. Yes. Gotcha. He nibbled me first. I didn't make a good clean swing to start with. Holy shit. All right. So, yeah, against ferals and cops, I reckon I can hold my own. One dog shows up and there is so much shit in my pants. Holy God. I wasn't wearing brown underwear this morning, but I, I saw a shit am now. Oh, my God. Got some more behind the counter. I don't see any glowing eyes though, so I think you're all right. Um, when you are a cafe, oh, all right. I was gonna start making my coffee order. Can I have a tall, large, whatever you want to call it, whatever your weird phrasing that makes you definitely unique and not at all weird phrasing is for the biggest cup you have of a latte, please. Full cream milk is fine. Don't put any syrups in it. Don't think she's gonna make it for me. I have to make it myself as soon as we're done. Another baton, I'll scrap you. I was already wearing the shopping trolley. More crafting. When can I make the better stun button? Still need to see it too. How many more books do I need to get? It's robots, isn't it? Robotics to get four more to get tier three. Four more to make a tier three stun button. That may actually be a pretty good shout. It's the final room, like the final countdown. In fact, I'm not... Oh my goodness, Josh. You didn't bring... Where's your fucking first aid bandages, dickhead? Shh. Are they in my bike, maybe? Uh... <laughs> Shh. 
You're fine. Stay there. I'll be right back. I promise. I'm just going to quickly beat my way out the front and quickly check my bike to see if I brought any. Because I was about to say, I'm going to quickly like, put my organs back together so that I have all of my health available to me, but I don't have them in there either. I didn't bring them. I didn't bring them. Why, Josh? Why did you have bloody pebbles in your hot bar instead of your first aid bandos? That's like surviving 101, you great gits. Uh, I think that stripper titties is heels just there. And I think it was actually. I just missed the foot shot. Got too excited about the heels and missed it completely. Uh, any of you guys ferals? I don't see any glowing eyes. I think you're all actually regulars. All right. In that case then, get amongst it. Take off the noggins where you can. I don't have the, the nerd tats going, so it's not going to spread the sizzly, but took off all the heads. Oh, thank goodness. All right, that could have been really bad. Thank goodness the ferals were earlier, not in that room. How do I leave my first aid bandos at home? What are you doing, me? I don't have a pick and ups, uh, a pick enough? I don't have a pickaxe. Good enough. What what words did I put together then? I don't have a pickaxe good enough to uh, break down the wall safe without using a lock pick. Remember earlier when I was like, oh, hey, me not speaking well? That's unusual. Mm, yeah, nah, clearly. Good job, me. Uh, didn't get much out of here. Anyway, some ammo to sell and a cripple mod. But I am going to make sure, I'm going to swap hole in the wrench, make sure before I do anything, I'm going to break down you for the extra steel. If I pull everything out of it, it breaks the box. So I've got to leave things in there. Before I break them, you gave me no steel. You gave me no steel whatsoever. How is that? Was that a th what, what's going on there? They always give you steel, don't they? Has that been has that been nerfed? Has that been changed? I am in 1.1, the newer version. Uh, assault rifle crafting worthless, but thank you. <sighs> An extended magazine mod, which I was looking for for fucking weeks in the 1.0 playthrough, the first playthrough of 1.0. And I found so many in the coffee shop series. Now I found one on day nine or whatever it is at the moment. Blackstrap coffee, thank you. Commando gloves for some extra range damage. Not going to help me at all either. But a first aid bando that I may have left behind. Look, go there. Go there so I don't forget you again. All right, well, that was, um, that was a bit of a time. <laughs> that was... As been how you go, wasn't it? That was a bit all over the shop. We managed to make it through. Oh, wait. You're going to put some stuff away. I'm still a little bit cucumbered because I'm wearing my wrong outfit. I'm not dressed to impress my carrying capacity. Is there anything down here? Jim's Gun Fortress and Tim's Beer and Liquor. Liquor? Hardly even know Tim. Uh, is there anything else, though? There's a mortician's house. There's a hogzilla ranch. I think guys, you've got a Gracie in there. Not going anywhere bloody near ya. <laughs> Listen, I'm struggling with zombie dogs. Grace would just eat me in one bite. Just one. Oh, God. There's this work site down the end though. There's usually some good stuff in you, like a cement mixer, which should give me the forge ahead book. Yes, it does. Read you nice and quick. 16. I'm still so far away. Still so far away from all the things that I... Fuck that I need. Don't come this way. Don't come this way. Can I, can I, where, 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 where did my pebbles go? I had them in lieu, oh, they're right there. I had them in lieu of my first aid bandos for some reason, and now I don't have them when I need them. Go that way. Go that way. No, you don't want to play fetch? Oh shit, you're a dog. That's not, I mean, that's your favorite game in the world. Why would you play it with me now? Oh god, I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna be brave. Or stupid. I mean it's the same thing, it just depends on the outcome. Grab the four side and go. I'm Q coming. I don't wanna be here. I'm wearing the appropriate stuff. Oh I've got I'm not taking my eyes off ya. Not at all. Okay, we're good. Where's my bike? I'm far enough away now that I should be okay. Quickly search the working stiffs truck. <laughs> As I was saying, oh, there's no way I'm gonna go take Oh, I can see him over there. I can see him over there. There's no one gonna take on a bloody Grace if one dog makes me puck her up like it's freaking freezing. Nah, I'm out of here. So obviously I am super glad that they updated the character models uh, because I go rather than the old Nintendo 64 looking guys we used to be. Like the new character models look so good and I like the design of the new outfits and armors and stuff. I just wish I missed the customizability. Like, why, why can't I chuck goggles on on top of the, the helmet, you know? Like, we lost, like, customization slots. So now, we're, like, we can play with other people. Everyone just looks the same. 
I, especially because most of your outfit is dictated by the outfit. Like the, the shirt and the pants is like is one piece of clothing. So I, I just, I wish there was more customization with that stuff. I don't love the new armor system. Some of the perks are completely redundant as well. So it's not really great there either. But I just wish there was some more, some more points to it, I suppose. Some more... What do you want? Individuality, I guess. Speaking of individ Yama, individuality, though, let's talk to the person with none of it. After all. You're giving me nothing. It's, I don't need Barbara the books, so I'll take your skill crafting magazines. What other jobs do you have? I'm not going to do a night quest. I'm not up for that just yet. You oh, do a fetching clear. Job. Not yeah, so far away. When do you restock? Power. Oh, there's still like... Money that... There's still I the drop, isn't there? More customers like you. Where was it? Where was it? I did mark it. You, show a map. Oh, it's it's just there. It's just there. Let's go get that. It's like just over the hill. It's it's not far away at all. He didn't even give me anything good either. Couple of medical journals, although some baton craftings. Are you have unlocked herbal antibiotics? That's bloody good. Haven't unlocked the next baton yet. Uh, I can't put. I can't really put anything in anything, can I? Uh, <laughs> I've got all these mods that I can't do anything with. I'm still cucumbered up. Is there anything on me that I'm holding for no reason? You can go. Uh, I do need both of you. I don't need feathers at all. Got iron. I've got most of these things back at home again. Are you holding stuff for no reason too? Mm, you can go. You can go. So you can go in and you can go in. I just, I've got so much random shit. There it is. There's the thing I'm looking for. Oh, just run past some zombies and some bags and things. But I've got my eyes on the very orangey prize. Oh, there's another bag right there too. Lots of little duffel bags just lost in the woods. Worst campers ever. Um, I'm wearing the shopping trolley, so we're fine. I'll scrap you. Hobo stew, not too bad. I'll take you home with me. You're coming home with me. Pipe shotgun bundle. Open you immediately. Scrap you and read all three of you. You gave me three rounds. Yeah, now cheers for that. Open you as well. More shotgun crafting. More baton crafting. And more vehicles. 35. 35 robotic, uh, robotics. Tier 6 pop shotgun. Tell me about stun buttons. Tier 3 stun button. Words I never thought I would say. Tell me about stun buttons. You know what? That worked out a treat. That's perfect. I think I've got time to actually do that job. I'm just going to quickly stop off at home. Oh, there's way too much stuff for you for me to even attempt to try and take it all in at once. Make sure I close the spike trap. Now that everything else is sorted out, I guarantee you I'm going to fall in that spike trap well before a screamer ever does. And ever does even. I could say the words right. All you go into them. Sellables, take all of you. Uh, that one, that one. You as well. Mm, I might... I mean, now I've got the armor rack mod. I might actually keep all of the armor and dress up mannequins as much as I can. You can go into them. I carry around that wood all bloody day for no reason. I really didn't, like, prep myself up for today's adventures at all, did I? I didn't think this all the way through or even start. Well, I am back at home, though. I'm going to quickly punch out the bottom of this other vent on the other side that I've been meaning to do. A couple more swings out of you ought to do it. I can fix up the floor underneath, like, properly later, I guess. I mean, how, oh, how strong are you? But you're a, you're a range hood. You're not like a regular block. You're nice and weak, beautiful. I can actually get rid of both of you at the same time. Who needs venting when you can just get rid of it completely? You, copy shape of rotation. Chuck you in like that. Quickly grab, what are you doing there? Scrap you, you're worth absolutely nothing. Don't know why you're hanging out in the tools box. I need some wood. Josh, that one. There you go. Quickly get rid of the floor because... I really want to grab you. You can come with me. I'm going to chuck you in the corner. Perfect. And then start, 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 stun button. You're not going to take long at all. Craft you. As I'm, I'm losing out on duct tape so I can make some more. I just need like three, I think it was. Sure, make 16. No skin off my nose. We'll get you going too. And we'll keep all... I mean, are you going to have an extra mod slot? You should. In fact, you need to go into my, my actual tools. Insta yeah, come on. Come on. You don't need to be in there anymore. Don't need to be in there. Get the die. Get all the stuff and scrap you for baton parts. We're upgrading. There it is. There it is. Didn't even keep the T1 stun baton around long enough to check the stats. Just going to assume that it's better. <laughs> I've made a lot of assumptions about the stun buttons over the years, so I assume it's going to be the same and prove me kind of correct. I'm not, I'm not ready to say that the stun button's proved me wrong yet. It's still definitely lacking in a lot of areas, and I wish that it wasn't, but is what it is, I guess. I've chucked down some extra storage down the bottom. We're making our base a home. 
30 more seconds. 30 more seconds. So, what's actually left for me to get in these books then? Um, you, tech junkie, stun button charging. Technique is 25% chance for a regular and 50% chance for a power attack to instantly charge buttons. And then 10% more damage. So it's really just that one. I almost found all the books except for the ones that I needed. Those two right there. So I get that one. And that will make my stun repulsor even more effective. All right. All right. Stun repulsor in. Let's go give it a go. There was no zombies around. So I've had to come out to the quest to find anything I can start swatting with this thing. Open up. Anyone? Yep, there you go. Come outside, please. Just luring about. Luring about. Okay. Hey, g'day, mate. Do you want to be my first experiment with my stun repulsor mod? I don't want to... Oh, I was going to say, I don't want to actually hurt you. I just want to charge up my baton. There we go. Thank you. Guess you're going to be the one. I feel like I've been oversold the dream. I feel like... I feel like people were exaggerating. I was expecting to send you into the next suburb, the next postcode. Oh, I thought I was going to get sent a bill for postage I was going to send you so far. You went like three feet. You're like the jump at the start of Napoleon Dynamo. You got three feet of air that time. That was so lackluster. You went like four blocks. Is that it? Is that what everyone's been harping on about all this time? About, oh, the starter pulse is so bloody good. You're sending them flying. He barely even tripped over. Surely, surely it's better. Surely that was just like a bad first test. Oh, good day, mate. Can you, can you come out? Oh, can you come out with me? Oh, it's a dog. Oh, it's a dog. Oh. Close the door behind and see if I can fix you up like that. You infected me and abrased me, though. I'm stuck on a bloody <laughs> exercise bike. That's ironic. Come on. There you go. I mean, it's not... It's okay. It's all right. Oh, man. I wanted to send them over buildings. And now I'm infected. This sucks. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say the words. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. It really does seem to be about the same level as knockback, as like throw as you get out of uh, the sledgehammer power attack. So it's 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 not that much. The, the crowd control for it, I'm sure, is going to be pretty good, but it's not. I, like, I really thought I was going to act like, you know, absolutely yeeting zombies around. Sending them flipping and turning and doing spirals. Go for trick shots or something or anything like that. But it's just, it's just not quite, not quite there. Oh, oh easy, easy. She's upset. I sent a Kareem back into the stairs. Let's try and get another one. I'm, I, I'm even trying to aim up, and you're still only... I mean, you caught the bench, but I would have thought you'd go over it. I need some honey. I need some honey. I need... In fact, I got first aid banners. I can fix my abrasion nice and quickly. Should have that first up instead. Bloody dogs, man. That's why I'm so scared of dogs. They're so bad, and it hurts. Like, hit you and hurt you so much. I'm trying to go express through here, but listen, I've learned habits now, and I refuse to let them go. I need to grab all the curtains for all the cloth fiber. I can't leave that shit behind because you need it all the bloody time. Also take you and you for all the extras as well. All right, good. I've already grabbed the bookcase. Let's get upstairs. I'm not going to break down the couches that barely give you any anyway. G'day, g'day. That sounds like an awful lot. In fact, you know what I'm going to do with that then? Quickly. Punch open. Oh, stamina, please. Punch open this door and lead them out on the garden path. Or down the garden path, I suppose. My baton's not charged. I'd like it to be. It now is. Come on, Spider Boy. Get the hop and... Well, that was a little bit better. Still not, still not suburb worthy, but he almost made it across the yard. <laughs> I'm reaching. I'm reaching to try and make it seem like it's better than it actually is. Bonk. Bonk. Still not charged. I mean, of course, I could go flying indoors, but he wasn't. He didn't have much momentum anyway. No one hanging out in there. Took your noggin off. I, I really thought the Sun Repulse mod was going to be better. The reputation that it had coming into this that everyone's been telling me about, I really thought it was going to be ludicrous. Ludicrous. It's barely even Wordle, Chris. I am really trying. I am really trying to see the upsides of the stun button, but I'm not just going to blindly be like, oh, it's so much better, because it's... There, well, there are obvious pitfalls to me that I'm really struggling to overlook. I, it's just... 
I'm waiting for something to jump out at me as being obviously better than what the clubs are, for example. That's kind of the obvious comparison. I suppose for like the, the fastest zombies in a bit of a group, having the, the lock effect is really handy. And with the nerd tats where that lock effect can spread through more, in fact, that might be interesting when you come into a horde night with the sun repulsor. Yes, it doesn't send them nearly as far as I was hoping it would. Okay, that's that, that's a shame, but it is what it is. But with the spreadability of the nerd tats on a horde night, and because um, the sun repulsor works when you uh, when you zap zombies. Oh, jeez. All right, I sent her into the wall. Sorry about that. I reckon on horde night, it's going to be like a big... Kind of like with a sledgehammer, actually. In fact, it's basically... Oh my goodness, what have I done? I put you in the wall. What is this? Um, I feel like I've committed a crime. <laughs> Are you okay? I've hung you upside down by your ankles. I mean, I know you're up for a good time, but you know what? I'm just going <laughs> to... Just look away. Just look away, Josh. What are you doing? You're <laughs> committing atrocities. I looked away long enough for the zombies to despawn so we can not get our channel deleted off YouTube. We can all avoid it. Read all the use, some extra ammo. Uh, yeah, so I reckon on Horde Night with that Summer Pulsar working across many, it'll be very similar to running the um to running the sledgehammer, that power attack, that crowd control, which I really did enjoy. In um in the coffee series, I'll repair you to make you more worthwhile. I can't put no mods in you. I can't put you into this one, can I? Yes, I can. Nice. Let's give you a little home. See, I reckon that'll actually be pretty good. That will come in handy for the big C of them, but day to day, raid to raid, zombie to zombie, I'm not really seeing the upside. It took me like 10 minutes to get to that point. I kept getting distracted by stuff, but more stuff out of you. It's fine. We got there in the end. Scrap you. Scrap you. Read you. Replace the first aid I had to use. All right. Good. Nice. Oh, I'm not going back back to trading in time though. Damn it. He's got to. He's got to close before I can get there. Gonna check the letterbox. See if Post and Pat's been by. He has not. There's nothing in there. It's got real dark real quick. Jeez, it's gotten dark. All right. Fair play then. My infection's ticking up. My stamina's getting real bad, but. Oh, great. Just when, you think, just when you think things can't get any worse, I'm holding a charged up electrical baton in a lightning storm. I'm literally holding a lightning rod. That seems pretty, pretty ill-advisable. Just going to sprint on home as fast as my little tombstroke can carry me. I think I leave just across this little field. Well, what a day. What a day that was. I, listen, we got the Star Repulsive which was supposed to be all that, but... Well, I guess we'll see how it goes in Horde Nights. But like I was talking about actually in the last Horde that I did, where I was trying to time when I used my uh, my powered up attacks. I was trying to avoid using that until there was more zombies around me. This is going to be the same kind of thing. I'm really going to have to bide my time and only use my, my charged attack when the moment actually calls for it. Because otherwise, I'm going to waste it when there's not that many zombies around. It, like, the nerd tats don't spread it that much. So I'm going to waste it when it doesn't, it's not going to spread and not take advantage of the of, of the repulsor mod. It's just, it's just a bit... Just a bit how you going, you know? Just a bit, just a bit iffy. Before I forget and let it get too much worse, I've got one honey. Really? That's all I've got? No, I've got plenty more. Okay, we're fine. Although I can make my own herbal antibiotics at this point, and honey is used for other things, so I might... If I can... I don't have the gums to make you. I'm missing chrysanthemum and some blueberries. Was I growing some of that stuff up the top, actually? Get your, get your fire wrench out, your chlamydia wrench. Up we go. I'm growing some things, but not those in particular. I could go ahead and find some. I might actually... I mean, I've got the Hermione Analogs already there, but maybe tomorrow I'll think about going to make some more. Because I don't want to waste the honey if I can avoid it at all. Because though they come in handy so much like handy later. For awesome sauce, is that it? I thought I used you for good food. Are you just used for awesome sauce? But even so, even so, making herbal antibiotics is actually really bloody cheap. So I'm going to try and focus on those instead. Yeah, it's a bunch of nothing. Bunch of bloody nothing, mate. All right, yeah, in you go then. Chomp on down on that. Swallow the pills. Maybe don't chomp the pills. In you go. Put you back away and put you back away. Dude, this, this little base is starting to come together. 
I actually quite, I actually really quite like it in here. It's it's big, but not too big. And nice and homey. I'm going to have to go through and sort out the rest of my inventory stuff, the rest of my storage. I've added some extra boxes down the bottom and just moved, like separated my health, my food, my water, because that was my biggest box. Farming, I'm not committed to at the moment, uh, but just in case I do have to start deleting chests as per the rules of this series, I've made sure everything has a name. I mean, yeah, I suppose I could just like make a thousand boxes, like a box for each item and really try and cheese the system, but... Where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in that? You're gonna play properly and just deal with the consequences. Just try not to die. If you wanna cheat, if you wanna break the system, how about just don't die in the first place? That sounds like a great bloody idea. I'm gonna get you crafting away. Uh, after you're done with that, make some extra coffees, please. So you need, gee whiz, you need like 13. Uh, I need more, I need more. I don't have enough fuel. I don't have enough fuel for that fire, nor that which I desire. Let's go to the 50 out of you. Nice, I'm gonna spend tonight breaking down this side and getting this all prepped up and ready. So then tomorrow, what's it going to be? It's going to be day 10, hand in the quest. I can get rid of you now, thank you. Hand in the quest, do a bit more exploring because I'd love to finish off... Oh, is it only a little bit to go. Five more quests, actually. I'd love to finish off the tier twos. I'm not sure if I want to live in the desert for this or live in the winter biome for this. Winter, better loot, but worse for enemies. Desert, easier food, which I'm struggling with already because the dingoes will come and attack me. So that will actually solve that problem pretty readily for me without having to fight bears or direwolves. Maybe this is a series for the desert. Maybe this is a desert series. I guess we're going to find out. We'll all have to try and figure that out and come to that conclusion in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. But don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.